Hmm, could be. Or maybe someone forgot to do their research. For those who are unaware, this verse was revealed regarding the stoning of adulterers. So this is a hilarious attempt to flex on me, and I'll explain why. So the other day, I made a video critiquing this guy's claims, and in my video, I note numerous instances in which the Quran affirms that the Jews had the Torah and that they should be following it. In response, this guy accuses me of not doing my research, and then he explains the context in which the Quranic verses I cited were revealed, which had to do with two Jews and adultery. However, nothing you said about the context of that verse undercuts my original point, which is that Muhammad confirmed that they had the Torah and that they should be following it. In fact, the context you provided was completely irrelevant to the topic at hand. So for all of your posturing, you've done nothing to detract from my original point. But not only that, the thing you're vaguely pointing to in your video is Ibn Kathir's Tafsir, which was written roughly 700 years after the death of Muhammad. So he wasn't even there. But I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, Garb, do your research. He used the Hadith, and they were written way earlier. But here's the is issue. You actually can't tell me to use the Hadith, because in your original video, you said this. Yeah, you have no manuscripts of the New Testament that go back to the first century. You objected to the New Testament as a historical source by saying that we have no manuscripts that date to within 70 years of Jesus' death. Yet, when we look at the Hadith that were used by Ibn Kathir, such as Malik's, we see it wasn't even written until roughly 150 years after the death of Muhammad. So by your own historical standards, the Hadith that Ibn Kathir used to explain this verse are too late to give us reliable historical data. Don't you just hate it when your own bad arguments come back to bite you? So congratulations. Not only does your attempted refutation of me not even affect my argument, it perfectly demonstrates how Muslims shift their historical standards for when it suits them. I couldn't have shown it any better myself.